Hey guys, Jeff Jesus over here. So, just about moved out of the old old place over here. But I stopped as I save any here in town just to kind of make a a quick haul because I needed a break. I'm getting tired. We're almost done. Got maybe one van load left, and we're done. It's, me. it's all good getting out of here. But let's see what I found. Some pretty good stuff. You know, I got Lord of the Rings Risk. Excuse the little man's toilet seat there. Star Wars Risk. Pretty cool. Now, they look like they're mostly there. I didn't sit there and count every single piece because even if they're not there, I can part these out for a decent amount of money. Just even the little character pieces in those are worth a decent amount. They're $2.30 each, so yeah, I snagged them and I left. Uh, also got 2013 inauguration pins for $4. Didn't look those up, they're pretty good. 2013, see, that, I don't remember. One of the presents. Obama, maybe? Don't care. I saw the either party. I don't care. If your political affiliation is, your money's still green. You can be red, you can be blue. I don't give a crap. I want your money. I'll sell you whatever you want. I don't care what present this is. If I saw it, I'd buy it. I'd sell it. Didn't look that one up, but figured three pins, inauguration. Those things usually do a halfway. They're a little slow movers, but they do pretty good. And then I got... Yeah, breaking all my rules. I bought a Build-A-Bear. Yeah, this one is the... Captain Marvel Build-A-Bear, though. So, it's got a brand tie-in. That's why I bought it. It was $3. You know, not, not too bad. A little more than I like to play, pay for Build-A-Bear. Usually, I get them for, like, a buck, buck fifty. That one's, I thought, was pretty cool. Yeah. Outside, yeah, these brand tie-in ones usually do pretty darn good. So, I picked that one up. Picked up another little guy. A parrot. Don't know if I'll sell him or if I'm going to keep him. He... We have a parrot. He's not this type of parrot. He's an African gray. But still, I kind of, whenever I see parrot stuff, I kind of tend to grab it. And then, I found this really cool one. I kind of want to keep it. I found sold comps for about 100 bucks, so I'm probably going to sell it. Yeah. It's a stained glass lamp of an elephant. I thought that was pretty darn cool. They want, how much do they want for that? Five fifty. Yeah, that's a that is pretty darn cool. And I also got an entire box of media. Also sealed. I think the most I paid for any of these is two fifty. Yeah, like a lot of these series are two fifty. One of the cool things was a lot of these were these the Great Courses Plus ones. Brand new sealed, two fifty. I scanned a couple of them. The like, first one I scanned popped up at It'd probably be about 50 bucks. Not bad. Next one's about 40. Next one was only about 15. Next one was about 30. And they had a ton of them. At that point, I stopped scanning. I just grabbed the whole stack. Stuck it in my cart. Because they can be good. A couple of movies, too. Not a lot. So there was another person actually in there scanning. And he was going really, really slow. And he was scanning everything now for books yeah for books i think you do a lot of scan everything but when you talk of media the percentages of what you're going to find for open media that are worth your time and money are pretty low which is why i only scan the sealed stuff so using their scanning i don't know if he was new or not it looked like he was a little, getting a little bit flustered with it I just went to a section beyond him, and I started, and I found all this stuff real quick. And, yeah, sure, he probably found some stuff I would have missed and he used, but because he was going so slow, it allowed me to grab all this, which is probably going to be about four to $500 profit. That if he was just would have been going faster and scanning the sealed stuff, he would have got this and not me. So... I don't know. What do you think? Should you scan everything when you do a media, or should you just stick to the sealed stuff? I stick to the sealed. Plus, one thing he was doing, every single disc, he pulled it out, he checked the disc to see what it looked like, and then he scanned it. 
Oh, so he spent money, or not money, he spent time on things that weren't worth his money before he knew they weren't worth his money. If you're going to do that, fine. Scan the item, see if it's worth your money, and if it is, then check it. <sighs> oh, well. But I might have another media scanner in town here to deal with, so who knows? We'll see. See how long he sticks, or, sticks out. Maybe he's just stopped in town, but we'll find out. So did you guys getting good hauls? What do you think of this haul? It's not that that big, but you know, a decent amount of stuff. I think it's gonna be some cool money. I still uh still no, what should I do? Should I keep this or sell it? It's really cool. Like kind of I don't know. Debating, do I keep it because it's cool? Plus my grandma would really like the elephants. So that's kind of neat little things. But so I keep it or I sell it? I probably bought a hundred bucks if I sold it, so I'm leaning towards selling it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna sell it if I ever get it listed. Tell them I can enjoy it, right? So, how have you guys been doing? You've been sourcing? I gotta get back to sourcing because this is like month, month, two months doing this move. I've not been sourcing hardly at all. And it's just, I know, I should go through my death pile before I source more, but things, especially like this media. On Amazon, really stupidly easy to scan those in and send them in. I have to deal with them. The eBay stuff that I get bogged down on. So, you guys, gotta keep on selling, keep on listening. You have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.